Good afternoon, everybody. Officially noon here on the Rancho, and happy Friday. Guess what we're going to do again? Another dollar store food review, and it's been really fun, and a lot of people have really enjoyed these Friday uh, foodies, these little impromptu things where, where in Rosie goes to the dollar store and buys $20 worth of crap and brings it home and then proceeds to force feed Missy Jen. <laughs> today's offering certainly against her will but it's been paying off we've been having some real success in the products that we have bought most of which I might mention are made in the USA and some of them are even non GMO which is kind of uh, kind of interesting and I speak of course of the uh, shortbread uh, cookies that we got that were made in India. They taste great, they have real butter in them, and they have no GMO products in there. Well, let's uh, ask our uh, test subject to wheel herself in today. <laughs> Here we go. Or uh, dare you approach the arena. <laughs> Here we come again. Welcome aboard, Miss Again. <laughs> Do you dare face the dollar store lunch challenge again? Huh? Do sure you accept the challenge? So far, except the weird challenge, I think was so far nah, very similar. All right. So it's yeah, I've been. Have you been surprised, haven't you, that we've good. we've done as well as we have done? Oh, yeah. I mean, you've been yeah. surprised with that. Mm -hmm. So. What we have today, I thought on the menu today, Jen, to force feed you, we have the lunch makers instead of Lunchables. Armor took the uh, Oscar Mayer, the Lunchables, and developed their own little uh, packaging marketing here with lunch makers. Now this includes the ham. It looks like American cheese. There, ham. You've got crackers, and you even get to cap it off with a uh, crunch bar there. Or <laughs> you could have the turkey, the cheese with the crackers, and a butterfinger. So I'm uh, going, of course, to let Missy Jen make the selection of which she would prefer today. Do, 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 do. Do 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 boom boom. Here we go. She's gone with the turkey today. Okay, that will be our official appetizer of the day. Now, since we have Friday night foodies, we don't want to eat too heavy here, but we do have either a choice, Missy Jen, of the chicken roll or or the uh, shrimp egg roll. And this includes a uh, sauce packet here, product of USA by Imperial Gardens. So there it is, and they're out of uh, Houston, Texas. And we'll look into them a little bit and see what their story is. So Missy Jen, once again, I give you, since you're being force-fed today's to concoction. Okay, Missy Jen's gonna take the chicken, and I am going to take the ham. There we go there. And lastly, we have Elmer Chocolate out of, where are they from? Oh, Elmer Chocolate. Ponchatola. Oh, yeah. Ponchatola, Louisiana down there. So I've we're going. have had Elmer's Chocolate. You've had before. Elmer's Chocolate yeah. before. You sure I've you didn't it. eat Elmer's Glue when you were a kid? Are you sure it was Elmer's? No, Elmer's Chocolate. You know, that explains a lot of me that, well, you know, the Elmer's paste. Okay, you got it. I've Elmer's seen Elmer's Chocolate before. So there it is. They're out of Ponchatola, Louisiana. And we're going to give them a shot, too. You get five ounces here, which is not bad. So we're going to look a little bit about the Elmer Candy Company. We had, who did we have last time? We had, uh, which candy company was that? Zachary Candy Company. Zachary. Made the chocolate shop covered cherries, weren't you? Which you weren't really care, caring for. No. Now, if you have a problem, of course, you can write to, how many people write letters these days? You can write to the Elmer Chocolate Company, P.O. Box 788 Ponchatoula, Louisiana, or comments at, what is that, elmerchocolate.com. So there it is. Are you ready? So I think first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack open the, uh, we're going to ask Missy Jen to crack open her Lunchable there. And let's get it. Let's get her fully loaded up. Let's get her a plate here too. 
to grab a plate from up here. And I'm going to get a couple napkin pours too. I should have had this set up beforehand. Shame on me. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Looks like it opened up pretty cleanly. Easy. Hmm? Opened up pretty cleanly. Even a weakling like me can open it up. So I'm going to ask Jen to hold that and just take a look at that for a second. I'm going to grab a couple, a couple paper towels here. Or lunch. So we got that, and I'm going to give a couple knives and forks here, too. Crack him. And, uh, yeah. Butterfinger. Yeah, so I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get a couple... Butterfinger. Yeah, that's, that's probably my trademark, is Butterfinger, right? So I'm going to go grab a couple knives here, and a couple forks. We're going to give a go, get you all ready for that, Missy Jen. Make the official there for the eating today. So let's switch off again. And Jen, mm. let me uh, let me close mm -hmm. this door. I got laundry going on today. Uh, all right, Jen, go ahead and give well, that. Uh, I thought the Russian invasion was coming. I was like, what's yeah. that racket? There's George right there. George on the spot, huh? George, you want yourself a lunch maker, don't you? All right, Missy Jen, let's load up. Let's put some ham and let's put a uh, cheese and a cracker on there and let's get her together. How many pieces of uh, turkey, that nice that nice processed uh, uh, turkey two, there? Three, four slices wow, that's pretty turkey. good. So you got that. So you're going to build up your build up your dealio there, put and a little bit of cheese. What we're going to do is... Why aren't we neat? You think kids are that neat with their fingers? To be a little bit things? more neater. I'm going to be a savage when I eat mine. So go ahead, load one up and see what you think. Yeah, well, we can see better what we have. It's kind of nice the way everything is uniformly cut. So let's test that. It actually looks, uh, yeah. So maybe you better spare your crackers so you get one at a time, the bottom cracker. So you, all right, go ahead or else you'll fully load with everything in one bite. Go ahead, Jen. Give that a whirl there. See what you think. Mm. Shouldn't be any big deal. I mean, it's just it's regular American cheese. Did it have a good bite to it, the cheese? Is the ham okay? I mean, Armour should know something about uh, meat packing and ham, so... Cheese is really good. Good. Now, what I need to do is... That's turkey, actually, yeah. Have a piece by itself. Because I'm kind of suspicious about this turkey. Cameras. Figure. You think the kids eat like eat that? Like a you savage. Know? Yeah. Give it a try there. To me on appearance, it just looks like the common sort of uh, garden variety pressed turkey. I don't really s taste the turkey. Okay. It's just a pressed something. Pressed meat, okay. That's what I was suspicious of. That's why I wanted to test it by itself. 10-4. And the cheese? The cheese? So maybe the trick is have a... The cheese is actually a nice Gouda. Have a nice... Uh, cheese. The cheese is great. Yeah, that's what I say. It might mask the up the... The uh, really good. Might mask up the turkey weakness that there. The turkey is weak sauce, okay. and I'm pretty sure the butterfinger will be good. <laughs> It'll be all right. Scrumptious. My turn. <laughs> Woo. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's our lunch maker. I've got the ham, and I kind of like the way these came apart, Jen. Yeah, I can see a lot of teachers having to open these for kids, though, you know. 
Yeah, I don't think your average kid's going to be open, able to open this based on what I just experienced here. Yeah, six-year-old no needs, needs to be a Hulk Hogan to open it. Yeah, this is uh, this is really takes some effort to get that off. So I'm more of a savage than Jen is, so I'm just going to load that up on there and try a piece of this and get a piece of this ham. Give this a whirl. Here we go. The cheese is good. Now I'm going to do it. Uh, the whole combination is good. The crackers nice and crispy. The cheese is good. Now I'm going to do what Jen did and try a piece of the ham by itself here. I find no problem with the ham at all. It is very tasty. Of course, ham is a little stronger than turkey is, so it holds up a little more to the... Uh, cheese and stuff. I'm assuming that my Nestle Crunch will be okay here. So I'm going to go on. I'm going to prepare myself one more piece here. Let's put the cheese on the bottom. Let's put a piece of the ham on there. Did you try the cheese by itself? No, the cheese is plenty strong for me. I don't <laughs> need to try it by, this by itself. I will will say this for just a snack, you know, you can go in and get a pack of cheese crackers for a dollar and a quarter, or you could get something that has some meat and some cheese and some crackers on it and eat a little better than just, you know, a little package of How much cheese they? crackers. Hmm? How much are they? These are a dollar each. A dollar. That's yeah. not bad at all. It's not bad. And he's, uh, he's got a long expiration, January of 2018, which is still a couple months. Still a couple, January 22nd. Still a couple months away. So I would say for, for flavor and value for being a buck, if you just wanted a quick snack for uh, a kid, I would think this would, this would be a great. It's not going to be a lot, but then again, you don't want somebody to overeat anyway. So... Save that chocolate, Jen, till the end. We still have an uh, egg roll to do. So uh, I'm going to declare, well, we'll, we'll wait to the end, and you'll have to watch and see what we uh, see what we do here. But we're going to go ahead and uh, finish. Well, I am. Missy Jen wiped out her, her, uh, her uh, what do you call them? What the heck is it called? Lunch maker here. So I'm going to go ahead and have mine. Good job, Missy Jen. The clean plate cloth. Woo. You're a Baltimore shrimp, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine on the left side here. Yeah, when it we'll spins around. And this recommends three to four minutes on a thousand watts. So we got two of these. So I'm gonna go about uh, probably about six minutes on these since we got two of them here. So, all right, let's go ahead and do that. Kerpow. And we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Missy Jen licking her chops. Yes. Uh, that nice, uh, what we call a Chinese burrito. I love over there. egg rolls. All right, so we're going to have our egg roll, and then uh, we'll get on to Missy Jen's, uh, Missy Jen's dream chocolates over there. Okay, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Georgie's all, Georgie, are you all hungry? Are you hungry? Hmm? Are you hungry? Here we are. I'm going to go first here. 
and sample the Imperial Garden. The this is the uh, shrimp roll. Let's open that up inside. There it is. Not a lot. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot of filling, but uh, let's go ahead. First bite I want to take. I don't want to put anything on it. They give you the sauce on the side, the little sauce package here. But I want to go ahead and try this straight up. I can definitely taste the uh, definitely taste the fish, the, the uh, shrimp taste of that. Let me go ahead and now take a piece and use the sauce. Put that in a little bit of the sauce here. I'd have to say it's pretty good. But I kind of think maybe there's not a lot of filling on the inside of that. Maybe you can see that on there. Not a lot of filling. But what's there is tasty. My immediate thought is if these were two for a dollar, you'd have a total victory here. So I'm going to let Missy Jen test her chicken uh, egg roll and see what she thinks of that. We're testing the, uh, right now we're doing the Imperial Garden egg roll. Okay, she's doing an egg roll. Like a, maybe I called it a shrimp roll, but she's gonna do her chicken egg roll. Okay. Right. We got enough force feeding at its best right here. <laughs> I'm already drooling watching you to eat. <clears throat> All right. Slice to give that baby a good slice. Just maul that thing. There we go. Take a bite straight up. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty good filling. Yeah, I think you've got, it looks like you've got more filling on the inside. More filling in here, of yeah. yours. Probably because shrimps may be a little more expensive than chicken. So, all right, go ahead and try it straight up and let's see what we got here. See how the flavor is on that. Got some definite crunch to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can taste soy sprouts. Where's the chicken? Let me take another piece. Yeah, try another piece and see if you get some uh, chicken. I mean, I don't, I don't obviously see shrimp in here, but it's more like a ground-up kind of shrimp, I think, than uh, than pieces of shrimp. It's really hard to detect the flavor of chicken in there. I'm pretty sure they chopped it up in there. Yeah, I think it's like micro. Mm, but it is totally over overwhelmed by the uh, soy sprouts. All right, try this. Try the sauce. Flavor. So I don't. I don't taste any chicken at all. But it tastes good. Yeah, overall, I think the taste overall, is good. I just detected a fish sort of. Try your sauce there. So it, it, it just really just tastes almost just like a veggie soy, soy sauce, soy, soy roll. Give that a whirl. See what mm. you think of that. Don't hold back now. Hmm? Good sauce kind of makes it, doesn't it? That's that sweet sour sauce. Your standard sweet sour sauce, which is, I, I personally love it. Mm-hmm. It's always a really good addition to the... It's always generally served with the egg rolls, the, uh, that egg type roll. of sauce. So, so. really accom accomplishes that egg roll very nicely. So. 
All right. We'll I agree with Rosie for... Wait a minute. I actually just found a big chunk of chicken right here. Okay, go ahead pop that in the grill there and see what you got. That is real chicken. That was not just some shredded up stuff. That was a real chunk. Almost, I could swear this was from a from a from a leg, from a thigh. Yeah, it would look like dark meat. So, <clears throat> so right. that was really good. Okay. So I agree with Rosie. If you can get two of those for a buck, it'd be worth it for for a dollar. One of these. And mm. it's kind of um, yeah. From a from a dollar store, it's kind of redlining on value. Redlining, but it is not bad at all. Okay. Okay. Now we come to the Elmer's Premium Chocolate. I have to say, it was had some nice packaging. Uh, had some nice packaging to it. It's got uh, it's pretty wild. It's got this thing that forms the side insert on that. And then you just pull out the tray. And I think it makes a nice appearance for a dollar. Look at that. Yeah. One dollar. So uh, I'm going to trade off with Missy Jen here. The chocolates that are in here are the orange cream, strawberry cream, caramel, cocoa truffle, and chocolate caramel. So Jen, you can uh, pick what you want there. While she's decided, I'm going to do a quick battery change here. Now you may wonder, you may wonder sometimes why this stuff gets to the, the uh, dollar store. And Missy Jen, we can kind of tell on appearance that if you were running a production <laughs> line, you might kick this off to the defect pile because right. of what? That over right there. there. You can see that is a strawberry cream it looks like it didn't get the proper fill on it, but you can see the rest of them look A-OK. -okay. But yeah. if you're working a line and you expect maybe a Walmart or somebody to buy this, you, well, they're, they're going to open right. once in a while and you don't want them to see, uh, <clears throat> right. you know, it if doesn't affect the flavor, but... Quality control sees that. It just they kicks it off. pull that off. And reject that. All right, dun 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 dun. So Have you decided? So Missy Jen is going to do the coffee. Cocoa what is it? Truffle. Cocoa truffle, right there. Okay, give that a whirl and see what you think. German girl doing chocolate. This is no, the. I was going to break it in half, but. No, just shovel it on in there. Sweet. Whew. Maybe you best try another. <clears throat> I'm going to take one of the caramels. There you go. Caramels. Grab that caramel right there. Give it a whirl. Yep, that's definitely caramel. No, the caramel one was pretty good. The caramel was. I mean, what the <clears> hell? Was look. Was good. The cocoa truffle. It was sweeter than sweet. Mama can say sweet. But you're getting thirteen chocolates for a dollar here. Can you imagine <clears> it? Thirteen. So if anybody out there has a real sweet tooth for a dollar, you get. Well, how about dollar. the how about the chocolate flavor? On it. Was it for a buck? What do you think for a dollar for this? Well, if you like sweet, sweet. Well, chocolate really is going to be to sweet. Me, <clears throat> to me, it doesn't really have the milk chocolate flavor. I like the creamy richness of the, the milk and less sweetness. But a dollar. 
A dollar. A dollar. This is like sugary, sugary. Well, I've never had a chocolate that wasn't sweet. Chocolate. So let's see what. All right, let me give it a whirl here. Let the real mistress decide here. The real mistress of chocolate. I'm going to try the orange cream here. You can see a little bit of the cream dangling out there. I can taste the orange. The chocolate seems delicious to me. You get 13 pieces for a dollar in here. It's a good deal for a dollar. For a buck? I mean, now, Missy Jen, I'm going to try the uh, <coughs> strawberry cream. Give that a try here and see what that uh, See what that. Well, well made. Huh? I mean, the candies are all well made. They all look really mm. nice and. Uh, Quality packaging, everything. A dollar. For a dollar. Thirteen yeah. pieces for a dollar. Whenever you get a sweet tooth for a dollar, you get thirteen pieces of quality chocolate. I'm gonna take the van and just load up the load up the van. Ooh, Christmas is oh, coming, you guys. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie will be on a candy trip. I have to say, I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> Let's do our wrap up now, and. Uh, to uh, assess our overall eating experience today. All right, let's see, Missy Jen. Give Missy Jen the orange cream. No. Yeah, open uh -uh. up. Here we go. I'm gonna see go what this, you're I'm gonna go on this <laughs> sugar coma. <laughs> You'll be fine. I'm gonna we didn't have that much to eat. For I'm gonna food. pass out. Doesn't that taste orangey? I mean, that's, I mean, that's uh, you know, for a buck. I mean, what the heck? I'm thinking to myself. You That's do actually pretty That's good. good. The creams were good. The strawberry cream and the buttercream were pretty good. The orange wrap cream it up. was pretty good. The Let's wrap it up. Another Dollar Tree lunch experience. We started with the lunch mates. What did you think? You had the turkey and I had the ham for a dollar each. That was a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal for a buck. Definitely worth getting that. You're getting meat, you're getting cheese, you're getting a uh, little uh, candy, candy at the end, snack, and you're getting yeah. some nice crackers too on that. Yeah. Winner. 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 Bing, bing. All right, the Imperial Garden egg rolls. What did you think, Jen? I found two tiny bits of chicken in there, and that was it. And I compared them towards a competitor uh, egg roll thing that I used to eat when you get a six pack for Walmart would have a six pack for like two ninety nine. Yeah. Right. So you buy like for fifty cents an egg roll that's loaded with stuff. So I say for a dollar yeah, you just don't get the value. So me yeah, that's gonna be a value <laughs> down for me too on it. The taste was there, but it was dough. It was like fried dough. And right, this fried one. dough yeah. and a few sprouts yeah. of soy in there. And, uh, Compared to Jenny's garden, those uh, spring rolls right. we had were yeah, really good. Yeah, they were dough. really good. So this was Okay, so this was, this was kind of a loser to Jen and I. I don't think I'd repurchase that. Now, the <coughs> candy compared to Zachary Candy Company's chocolate-covered cherries. This Elmer Candy Company out of Ponchatola. Yeah. Louisiana. Punch it out of the ballpark. Yeah, I thought uh, you had the orange cream, which maybe if you'd started with the orange well, cream. Well, you should eat one of those that Yeah, healthier. I just, I never eat really it. liked truffles too much. Yeah, you just eat it. it. I want you but, to uh, eat it and for me, show everybody what for me, it's like. For me, this is the, I've already had three pieces. For yeah, but you should try that. Oh, just to show everybody that's... I'm not fat enough, right? <clears throat> that's what kind of... Made me. Mm. The orange cream is great. <clears throat> to me, the cocoa truffle, the cocoa doesn't punch out. It's just sweet. You're right. It doesn't really it's have. It's just sugar. It really it's doesn't have the chocolate. But the yeah. other things, 
Yeah, the other things are good. So I'm watching through. So I'm going to declare this. It's a still a winner win. for a buck. For you a buck. All this lusciousness, great packaging. It's really well manufactured. And chocolate. supporting another great American manufacturer. That's Hanging right. in there in 2017. Made in the USA, United right. States of America. All right, there we go. We got uh, uh. two wins today and one loss, but still a really nice and fun eating experience. Thanks for being along, guys. Your comments are welcome below. What did you think? Did you th what did you think the real value was today? Okay. And, and your thumbs up. Thumbs up are appreciated. Appreciate they really count for something here on YouTube. Thanks so much, everybody. Toodles. Have a nice. I had four now. <laughs> I didn't even know.